Hello class! Attached to this assignment, you'll find the details that we're going to talk about today. You'll find a copy of a trial balance for the Three Sisters Quilting Company. And you should see it there. So refer to this trial balance so you can know where we're getting the numbers from. So you'll remember from your reading that a trial balance includes balance sheet and income statement accounts. And the balance sheet accounts are three types of accounts, assets, liabilities, and equity, right? Well, the income statement accounts are what kinds? Two types of accounts, revenues and expenses. Well, these revenue and expense accounts are also called temporary accounts or nominal accounts. So when we get to the end of our reporting period, we need to close these accounts. In other words, we need to zero them out so that these accounts are ready to receive the transactions from the new accounting period. All right, so if right now you'll refer to your trial balance, we're going to do the closing entries for this trial balance. So typically it takes three journal entries. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna close the revenue accounts. So you'll remember that revenue accounts have a normal credit balance. So in order to zero them out or close the accounts, we need to debit the revenue accounts. So here we go. The first account is our sales revenue. And that has a credit balance of 120, so we're gonna debit it 120. And then, our service revenue account and we're going to debit that one for $350,000 and we're going to credit retained earnings. For a total of $470,000. All right, that's our first journal entry. Our second journal entry is so that we can close our expense accounts, all right? So our expense accounts have a normal debit balance. So to close them, we need to credit them. So the first credit is going to be to repairs expense. For $24,500. Then supplies expense for $14,200. These numbers are coming straight off of your trial balance. Salaries expense for $190,000. Rent expense for $1,300. And finally, utilities expense for $26,000. All right, so these are all our credits, and our debit in this case is going to be retained earnings for the sum of all of, I'm sorry, retained earnings. for the sum of all of those accounts, and that is 256,000. All right, we're almost done. Only one more journal entry left to do, and that is to close our dividends account. Our dividends account has a normal debit balance, so in order to close it, we're gonna credit it, and so our debit is going to be to retained earnings, for $10,000 and our credit is going to be to our dividend account. Dividends. All right, that's it. You have just closed all of the temporary or nominal accounts at the end of the reporting period, and so now all of these accounts have a zero debit balance and they're ready to receive next month's or next year's transactions. Thank you.